They weren't this one. Right? Look, he's like, <laughs> yeah, but I did this. I know. Wet. Like, I know it's wet, but it still looks like. That's the thing. Worst thing about grey, you can't cover that if you do pee yourself. <laughs> it's funny. Though. Question answer time today, guys. Thank you for all the questions. Hopefully, the answers are good. Tommy, what have right. we got? Joe's BD. What? <laughs> Is it not Joe SPD? <laughs> <laughs> Joe SPD, will you guys open the Stoltz Men gyms around the UK? That's the plan. We'd love to franchise the Stoltman Strength Centre. We've got a few things in the pipeline, so it'd be pretty cool. What do you think? Yeah, I think it'll happen, but again, it's a marathon, not a sprint, and you have to make sure there's it's a marathon. The right locations, not, not just putting one in a certain place and stuff. Yes. So. Business, finances, capital, gains, tax. Thanks, Joe SPD, for the question. Thanks, Joe's BD. Ross Garside. What's better, winning the world's strongest man or saving a penalty? So, obviously, this question must be for me. Obviously. Uh, winning, well, obviously, winning the world's strongest man. The uh, world's strongest man's better, of course. Um, he, you can save penalties every day of your life, really. But World Stories, man, you can't do so. It's a special moment for myself. So, yeah, saving a penalty at West Ham again, around the people I did was really, really special. But winning World Stories, man, for the second time just pips it, I think. You know, it's a title that I've wanted to keep. Rosgar. Rosgar. Is that Rosgar? Rosgar side. Rosgar's. Rosgar. Sorry, Rosgar side, but folks, that no, answers your question. I think it is Rosgar side, I'm joking. Jordan Doring To. Dot, 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 dot. Sorry, I can't see your whole name. Are you rivals as well as brothers? Yeah, I don't like Luke. Wow. Uh, that wasn't the question. It's like, <laughs> are you rivals? Not about like. No, we're rivals. Uh, no, we're not. I mean, like as you say all the time, we uh, spend 90% of time together, just not sleep together, which is good because we're brothers. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so. Why we're not actually. Uh, no, what are you talking about? It's rivals. See, I said we're rivals as well, brother. I'm just going to explain that we're not rivals because we do everything basically together. But we are when it comes to competing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, like, so, yeah sorry, sorry. So when it comes to explain it then. <laughs> no, we're, we're not rivals. We're, every, we're brothers for everything except when we're doing strongman competitions. <laughs> oh in God. the gym, we're still brothers. But yeah, when we're competing in that kind of comp. Obviously, we're rivals because, yeah, you want to beat me and I want to beat you. But Wait. we're still brothers. But we're, it's like, I think they're trying to say, like, are you right when we're competing? Are we not brothers? <laughs> I know what. Can you answer that? <laughs> we're we're rivals as well as brothers. But first and foremost, we're brothers. When we compete, we are rivals because we want to beat each other. I hope that answers your question. Kieran Grab, you hungry boy? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I had to. I had to. <laughs> Is there any brotherly rivalry? Or even jealousy of titles won by each other. That's kind of like the other question, but of course, when Luke wins a title, I'm happy. I think vice versa with him. As long as it kind of stays in the Stoltman name. You know, it's we're trying to build a legacy, and the more titles we have between us, the better it's going to be. You know, he's had five Scottish man titles. I've got two, so that's seven altogether. So, yeah, there's we have a lot of titles between each other, and we're happy. There's no jealousy whatsoever yeah. at all. If you're jealous of your brother or someone you love winning something, then... I think, I think jealousy can be a very toxic trait as well. So um, I am absolutely buzzing when Tommen's world's strongest man, but I would love to be there. You know, Tom inspires me to want to be there. So jealousy doesn't really come into it because I think it's something that we've both worked on very hard. And if you're jealous of someone, I think you need to look at you know yourself and, and kind of take away that toxic trait because jealousy, I think, can be quite toxic. Um, because first and foremost, Tom's worked extremely hard, so have I. Um, and to witness and to be part of Tom's World's Strongest Man Championship winning performance was incredible. So um, it just inspires me. So hopefully that answers the question, Mr. Grubb. Kevin Ste Kev Stephen, you tooted the Stokeman games a while back. Tooted. <laughs> you beat the... You touted the Stokeman games a while back. <laughs> they on the... Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tom. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> Where did he 
Fletcher. <laughs> they touted the Stockman games a while back. They on the back burner for the foreseeable. Yeah, I mean, obviously with COVID, we've not really had much time. This is the first proper year that we've had uh, to kind of plan things, and mm. it's we're obviously been too busy. You know, we're winning World Strawberries, man, doing other things, you know, that kind of first right now. Stockman games, they will be on, but they are on the back burner right now. It's just having the right time, right place to do it. Um, but when we do it, we'll make it big mm. and better than everything. I think as well, you know, with with you and you have seen him, the coach in the football video. Ewan's now the the business manager coming on to run the business management side of things, so he can really help in that aspect where you know Simon and Gabrielle are very busy in the the media aspect, your know, content creating, smashing that. And we're not very not know much about that kind of stuff. Yeah, but we're training and like first and foremost, we're still athletes. But I think over the next six months, it'll allow us to kind of maybe plan that. Um, maybe for next year or the year after but it's something yeah definitely I think by the end of the year we'll have at least a wee outline of something yeah, plan. Like, yeah some. Matthew Reed 96 how do you both deal with lack of motivation yeah good one for me it's uh, so if I'm you know training for a competition for example World Strawless Man one day I can't be bothered with training I'll have I always write World Strawless Man down on my whiteboard or whatever my goal is I'll have that on a whiteboard in the uh, kitchen it's important to write it down not on your phone don't type something on your phone and look at your phone so i'll wake up and if luke says let's train today and i say can't be bothered i'll write look at that goal and say this is why i'm training this is what i'm doing it for and that kind of helps me then get to the gym and luke also motivates me you know when you're training with somebody when you have a training partner i think it automatically helps you to kind of get that motivation you know when luke's motivated i'm motivated when he's down down so you kind of Five off each other a lot as well. And what I sometimes watch way. is the new Stoltman brother, the Stoltman Motivation channel. So go check that out for some motivational quotes. I don't because there's nothing on it right now. And also, I watch the Mulligan brothers. The, uh, yeah, I do watch that because there's a lot of that right now. Pal Dwyer, oh, who the heck is this? No question, really. Just wanted to say I'm great. Paled. So, Paled. Th this is might be a question answer Paled. session. Pal's trying to take the spotlight. He doesn't take the spotlight much, so well done. Um, he's saying he's great. What's he been great at? I just want to say I'm great. Not very great again. Oh. Or shiny trophies. Next question. <laughs> Awkward. Tap MP. Tap M. Tap M. Sorry if that's wrong, but mate, there's a lot of P's in that name. Tap M. Tap 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 tap. What comps are you both doing this year? We are doing the exact same one, so we are doing Shock Classic in August, we are doing Giants Live Glasgow in October, Yeah, I think, so. I think Rogues in October, and then we are doing the Liverpool team competition. Those are the four competitions you can see us at, if you want to see us. Thank you. Ox Dermit Mercs. Ox Dermit Mercs. Ox D Mit Mercs. Ox D Mercs. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce these things. Uh, so what, is there one thing you would, are very proud of in your community? I won't answer this one. If I can speak, if that's, am I allowed to speak for a little minute? You sure? So we just had a meeting with one of the councillors from Invergordon yesterday and they're actually going to put on a street party um, and they're going to do a muriel, muriel for Tom and I and they're actually doing a sculpture um, in the town and you know, to have the signs as well, I think that's something that we're both very proud of and trying to put Invergordon and Scotland and the Highlands on the map and I think we've we've done an okay job of that so far. Would you agree? Yes. Good. Very, very good. Next question, Ads Abel. Do you have a life motto that resonates with yourselves? Stay spicy. And leave a legacy. Or stay safe, smile, stay spicy and bigger the jobby, bigger the... I'll let you guys answer that. Hey, hey. If if you want to check our life motto, please go on to stoltonbrothers.com, check out our merchandise, and you can buy our life motto t shirts. Ryla, Ryla, Ryla. Ryla's 1979. She's unbad at pronouncing things. What is your proudest, most memorable, non straw man moment, Tom and Luke? Ooh. Mine is obviously starting the business. Uh, yeah, starting this business. Seeing it go from the we uh, room we had in the gym mm. to this in like three years has been pretty mental. I didn't know you, I didn't realize how bit quick you could grow a business, especially from being at PI. I thought it would take quite a while. So yeah, that's my proudest moment. And then obviously hiring people to help us as well, which is cool. So and having three 
brothers as no, for us to, to own the business but then to have also Harry to work with us as well is cool so mm, yeah, proud of his moments yeah, that's pretty cool yeah. Inber <laughs> two straw men one cup next question Ian dot 1995 oh. aye is there any acting roles in the near future? Well, maybe. We're doing a few, hopefully, things mm -hmm. in the coming up, but yeah, let's see what happens, boys. Huh? Paul Daly, 573. For both of you, what was the thing you did that made the other the angriest with you? When Tom never helps me unload weights, or load, uh, help load weights. When Luke turns up late, it's so frustrating. We're like, I set in and he's like, oh, you didn't wait for me, eh? So, well, it's 20 past the hour and you should have been or, here. Or when, when Tom says, oh, I'll let you know and I'm going to do hot and cold, and then he call, phones me in the sauna, say, oh, I'm here now, and then there's about 10 guys there. Re read it, when I'm doing hot and cold, so that means when I'm actually in the sauna. So, so Anyway, we're going to start fighting if we don't. And Tom spends loads of money. Capture Life UK. Hey guys, huge fan. Who is each of your favourite straw men, straw man from history and why? Derek Poundstone for me. I loved him since I've grown up, and yeah, the f the strongest man ever to win world stars, man. I love Derek Poundstone. Derek, yeah, definitely John Paul Sigmundson. I think for me, he's the John Paul was the. I think he paved the way for a lot of us coming into strong man. He's you know was a charismatic kind of full of energy guy. Um, but I think Tom and I are very much you know that way inclined when we compete. You know, he just he left it all out there, and um, he was. Uh, a great guy, one of the guys that I wish you know we could have spent some time with, but unfortunately that's not possible. So yeah, John Paul, I think for me, is one of the, the heroes of the sport. Cheers guys, that is all the questions answered. Thank you for the questions. Hopefully the answers were alright. Hope my pronunciations were alright too. They weren't. Oh well, that's for you to judge. And anyway, thank you guys, stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling. <laughs> Oh,